Space Camp, the 1986 movie, took place, of course, at Space Camp during the summer. So it's got to be these tangy Space Camp popsicles to commemorate this teen flick. And yes, tangy as in tang as in what the astronauts used to drink. But not really. I'll explain. So I was watching Space Camp the other day, and this movie actually had some pretty big stars in it from back in the day. There was Leah Thompson from Back to the Future. You might know her more recently from Dancing with the Stars. Kate Capshaw from the Indiana Jones movie, and she's also Steven Spielberg's wife. And Joaquin Phoenix when he was just a little kid, but back then he was known as Leaf. I think that family was uh, kind of hippie-ish. Anyways, I love Space Camp, and to prove it, I'm going to make some delicious Space Camp popsicles. Into my magic bullet goes one cup of tangerine juice and two to three slices of ginger root. You can also grate the ginger and then squeeze out the juice. That'll work just fine too, but this is the lazy man's way and that's the way I prefer to do it. Also, if you find that tangerine juice is a little too bitter for you, just add a splash of maple syrup and that'll do the trick. Okay, in T minus. Three, two, one. There is a lot going on in Space Camp. There's romance, there's drama, there's even a robot. And of course, there's a mishap that lands the teen campers in a space shuttle and then into outer space. This movie did have a pretty rough go. Unfortunately, it came out just a few months after the Challenger explosion in 1986, even though it was filmed way before the explosion. Now, critics hated this movie, but you know what? I was a teenager in 1986, and I loved it. And I still do today. So I poured my tangerine juice through a strainer, and now I'm just pushing on that ginger pulp to get all that extra gingery goodness into the juice. Okay, next we're gonna add two cloves. I know that sounds strange, you're thinking cloves from Thanksgiving and Christmas, but these cloves are just going to give this that little something extra that makes it special. Okay, now this goes into the fridge for about four hours. Now I chose tangerine as my base because it's orangey like tang, which if you don't remember back when I was a kid, tang was marketed as the breakfast drink of the astronauts. Well, Tang is really gross. Even Buzz Aldrin said so. So that's why I used tangerine juice. I think that was a very good compromise. So after four to five hours in the fridge, you're gonna fish out those cloves and then you're ready to pour into your molds. I found these awesome Rocket Pop molds online. I will post the link down below. My recipe will fill three of these molds. So if you wanna fill all six, just double the batch. Into the freezer for four to five hours and then you have liftoff. These Space Camp Pops are so good. You can taste the ginger, there's just a hint of that clove. You're gonna love them. And you know what? You're gonna love Space Camp too. I've been watching it all week on YouTube, but I'm sure you've got a dusty VHS copy you can pop in the VCR and give it a whirl. So enjoy this treat, enjoy this 80s teen movie, and I'm gonna call this one Mission Accomplished. Boom. Ooh, no boom. No boom, just Mission Accomplished. <laughs> So it's got to be these tangy space camp. What the heck is going on outside? The aliens have landed. Would you like a space camp pop? You know, they thought that um, the astronauts or NASA invented tang, but that's not true. The guy that invented tang, though, he did invent pop rock, so that's kind of cool. Okay. Please leave now so I can finish shooting. We need to do that again.